Hello YouTube model car community. Mike here. Uh, Mike's Miniature Motors. Uh, just wanted to do a uh, Ron Stewart and a bench update. It's been, uh, been a little while since I've posted anything. So uh, uh, let's get to it. Um, with the hobby shops closed, uh, you know, obviously we can't get our regular paints. Uh, testers, Tamiya, whatever you prefer. Uh, Vallejo, so on and so forth. Anyway, uh, I know several of y'all have used uh, this before. Uh, oh, oh, that's the semi gloss. I bought semi gloss. I bought matte. I, I bought uh, uh, the gloss clear uh, yesterday from Walmart. Um, uh, just grabbed the gloss, the, wrong, the wrong can. I thought I grabbed the gloss, not the semi gloss. But anyway, uh, so I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd buy them to try them because. Uh, I couldn't go buy the uh, Tamiya Clear that I normally use. Uh, didn't want to mail order anything. Just didn't want to take the time uh, to wait for it. <clears throat> anyway, as y'all know, a uh, uh, week and a half, two weeks ago, I got the purple laid down, the Prowler purple. On the uh, on the Hemi Hydro. Uh, I laid down my decals. I know I discussed with y'all about, uh, you know, trying to color code everything in. Um put down some clear yesterday let me see if i can get closer anyway you can kind of see in the middle of the h there uh the clear uh reacted so to say negatively to the decals so uh ron i'm not sure if i'll just leave everything as is the rest looks pretty smooth um or if i'll go ahead and try to uh to polish it um and you know sand that down a little bit um Let's see if I can turn it around. See if that looks any better. Uh, even come closer. Uh, you can kind of see it in that 57. Anyway, so I did that. After my second coat of clear, you know, I had a. Uh, you know, as you can tell, I, I glued the bodies together, and then I cut the bottom out of it, um, so I could get rid of this seam here, and of course this. If you look at my very first video of doing this car, that didn't fit for squat. Anyway, uh, had this like this and on a hemostat. Uh, it was kind of windy yesterday. Went out after my second coat of clear. This had come off the toothpick, blown down, and uh, I actually had the car had it propped up on the uh, in between the hood and the front fender. The hemostat in sandwiched in between there. Uh, anyway, it had fallen on the windshield wiper, and you can see the boo-boo there. It actually took the clear off, and uh, it was kind of hard to pull off. It actually took some of the purple off. So, tonight I will, uh, you know, after it's been 24 hours, I'll go ahead and sand this down. We're supposed to have decent weather. Knock on wood, it's kind of drizzly, rainy, dreary today. Um, try to get the purple laid down again tomorrow, and uh, get that cleared. <clears throat> Got the frame painted. Uh, I forgot to put this on, this front piece. It holds the front suspension. So I glued that on, shot another coat of, color, coat of purple on it just to, to kind of tie it all in. Um, this seat, the weird thing about it, I don't really have a pointer. I need to make me one like Brian has and some of y'all have. Uh, this seat only had the... The shoulder belts molded into it so I first you know uh, I painted them yesterday uh, this morning I came in with a mal malto pin I, I dabbed it on a uh, some uh, card stock and then I uh, just used a, a, a uh, fine brush to to do the buckles and uh, whatever you call those that you can use to adjust it and I thought you know what I should have just while I was at it I should have uh, painted on some belts so uh mixed up a little more blue paint um and uh, put those on there and then tomorrow morning i'll probably sit down and, and put little buckles on here or something just so so it looks better than just having two shoulder harnesses i thought it was kind of weird but you know it is an old kit and that's just the way they made it back then all right the motor is together i haven't put the belt on i won't put the belt on until uh until i uh, uh get ready to drop it into the chassis as you can see, I put all the, uh, the ignition wires on there. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to leave this on here. It gets covered up anyway. 
by this piece. And you have this ridge here. And uh, you've got this lip here. Well, it's got to go to the bottom side of that. And I don't know if it's uh, too far down on there. I don't know if you can really see. I'm holding everything together with my fingers. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going to wait till I get the seat in. And then I'll get the handbrake in. And then I will put this in. Because there's actually notches in the frame for it. To... Uh, see how far down the, the motor actually sits in the chassis before I glue any of that together. Uh, got the rear end done, the gas tank done, uh, handlebars, uh, just a little few odds and ends uh, done. I put the green, like I said, I'm trying to match everything in with those decals, the green in on the, the little butterflies for the, the blur. Anyway, that's probably about it for the, uh, the Ron Stewart build. I've uh, been working on the... Uh, the 488 uh, interiors. <clears throat> I got the blue um, uh, carpeting in. Uh, you know, I use flocking. I know some of y'all like to use embossing powder. Um, I like embossing powder on uh, like 50s, 60s cars. I think that looks kind of appropriate. You know, that knot type of, of uh, carpeting. But uh, newer cars have a, like a fuzzier, so I like to use flocking on newer cars. So anyway, this is a Ferrari. Um, uh, trying to replicate, uh, a white one with a blue interior that I've got, got, uh, decals on. I mean, not decals, uh, runoffs on. <clears throat> but, uh, got that flocked and, uh, got the center done on both of these. Um, I've done the seats. I've actually gone in and painted, um... This part is with uh, testers. I don't know if you can really see a different testers, black chrome trim, and then all the knobs are come in with a to me a semi gloss black, and then I will uh, put the little dots on there to adjust the the seating. Let me see if I can find pictures. I've got tons on the computer. They're downloaded, but not a lot of stuff printed out. But those buttons will all have little white dots on them, and I just like like to do that. Uh, I've done the dashes. Uh, if you notice in the pictures, you've got like the silver around all the knobs and the black in the center. I just realized I, I didn't put that on there. Um, so I've come in and done all that on the blue one also. Uh, haven't finished the blue one. Um, <clears throat> then I'll come in, like I said, I will try with a real fine brush to put in uh, all the dots. Uh, I've done these also. These go in the center console. I've done the silver. The silver with the black dots. I've got the dogs in the background now. Uh, the door panels also have, uh, I assume it's for the windows and for the locks. Done both of those. And I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, if you like the video, hit like. Uh, if you have a comment, leave a comment. Uh, if you have a question, feel free to leave a question. I try to answer back as uh, quickly as I can. And uh, I guess that's about it for the day today, guys. All right, thank you. Um, bye-bye. Hope you all are staying safe. Bye-bye.